Hey guys, it's Sam for Digital Meet again, and in this Cinema 4D quick tip, I'm going to be showing you how you can uh, texture both sides of um, flat polygons. Uh, so in my scene, I've just got a, um, a floor object and I've got a plane with a bend on it. If I uh, turn the bend off, you can see that it's just a flat plane. Now, normally, if you wanted to um, texture both sides of something, you'd give this plane a little bit of thickness and then you'd make selection sets. Um, and so it would actually uh, have polygons all facing outwards and you just, you'd um, texture this side and then texture the other side with selection sets. But what if you don't want it to have any thickness? What if you just wanted a flat um, group of polygons and you wanted to texture both sides? Well, it's pretty easy. Um, uh, down here, I've got a couple of materials. You can ignore these two. It's just a sky for reflections and a floor material. These are the materials that I'm going to be using. So let's open them up. All it is is the color channel and the reflectance. And I've just got a texture in, in the color channel. And the same for the red material. So what we'd do is we'd take both of these materials and place them on our plane, like so. So you can see there's the blue and it's... um covering both sides of our polygons. And if I put the red on, this will overwrite the blue underneath because that's how Cinema 4D works. <clears throat> it's kind of layered, kind of like Photoshop. So whatever's on top is the overriding material. In this case, it's not, um, you know, bottom to top, it's left to right. So whatever is furthest right will be the material that will be on top. Anyway, so let's select our texture tag for the blue material. And if we look down here, we can see side and it's marked with both. So if I change this to front and then go to my red texture tag and set this to back, you can see now that one side of my, um, my plane is, is one material and the other side is the other material. Um, so there we have it. So yeah, that's just something I wanted to show you guys quickly, nice and quick, hence the name Quick Tip. Anyway, that's it. For my viewers on YouTube, please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell to be notified of new tutorials. You can check out content at digitalmeet.uk where you can filter my tutorials by category and vote in the poll for upcoming tutorials. You can also follow me on social media, links in the description and the footer of my website. If you'd like to help support Digital Meet, this can be done via Patreon or the support page on the website. But if you want to help Digital Meet keep going and bag yourself some extra in-depth tutorial content, the Prime membership is available for purchase in the store. This will grant you access to the Prime membership area of the website. I also have a second YouTube channel called Beef Doctor, which is a bit of a dumping ground for non-3D content and where I'm streaming games. There's a link in the description and the footer of digitalmeet.uk. I hope to see you guys in the chat. Thanks for watching guys. Bye!